This is William the Hippo. He's the unofficial mascot of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City and was made in the Middle Kingdom in Egypt. He's made out of faience, a glazed non-clay ceramic material. And today we're going to make a copy. So we're going to start off with our clay and we're going to start by making two pinch vessels that are roughly the same size. This is going to be the body for our William. So we want them to be about the same size so then they fit together nicely. I'm going to score and slip and then stitch them together. Smoothing is really important when you're creating pinch animals. And so we're going to be smoothing this rather a lot with our rubber rib and some water. Now we're going to start making the head. Again, we're going to use two small, smaller pinch vessels and attach those together. The important thing to remember when you are creating a pinch animal is that you want the whole thing to be hollow. Nothing should be solid. Now, as I look at the real William, he's got a bit of a neck. It's not just the head stuck onto that body. So I'm gonna add some clay to form a neck, and then I'll attach the head, slipping and scoring it to the body. William's head is a bit flattened, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my paddle to flatten that out. He also has a bit of an overbite, a bit of a, a large upper lip, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some clay to delineate that. Now I was looking at a small model of William while I made this. I recommend that you do the same, that you have a small model of an animal that you're looking at, or at least a picture when you're creating your pinch animal. Make sure all attachments get slipped and scored. Here I'm adding on the ears. And again, make, make sure everything is well stitched so it all looks seamless. Now the real William is a bright turquoise blue, and that was prized in ancient Egypt. It had connotations of water and life. And so I'm gonna be glazing mine when I'm all done, that same turquoise color. He was also painted with images of lotus flowers and buds and leaves. It represented the world that the hippo lived in in Egypt in the swamps of the Nile. Here I'm going to pinch out the legs. I've started to. I'll pinch out the other ones. Right now they're solid, but I am going to go back with a tool and hollow them out because again, we need everything to be as light and as hollow as possible. I 
want to make sure that they have a good surface to attach to. The original legs on the original William were broken off before he was buried in a tomb. And the reason that was done was because the Egyptians thought hippos brought chaos. And so they were broken off so that he wouldn't damage anything while in the tomb. The ones that he has today are modern um, reproductions so that he looks whole. I want to make sure that they that he'll sit flat before I attach them. And straighten up his head. And there's William. And here he is sitting on my bookshelf. <laughs> 